Hi everyone, Julian Jones here, and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to harness train your cat. Hi, we're Julian Jones, and we show you how to teach your cat fun and practical skills to enrich their life and strengthen your bond. We are working with the Cat School Harness. The Cat School Harness is a vest style harness. It just goes over your cat's back. You do up the Velcro and then you do the Velcro under the belly. It's really easy to put on. I'm a big advocate for vest style harnesses for cats. A brightly colored vest makes your cat more visible to people who are walking their dog so they can see you at a distance. The vest covers a large surface area of your cat's body, making it very challenging for them to pull out. Even though the harness is very safe, it's important to know that there is no such thing as an escape-proof harness. I encourage everyone who's leash walking their cat to use multiple measures to keep your cat safe, including the addition of a collar with a tracking device. When I walk Jones on leash, a lot of times people stop me and they ask me, how did you teach your cat how to do that? Usually they're expecting me to say I started when he was very young. I only started harness training Jones when he was close to a year old. So if age is not the biggest factor, the biggest factor in harness training your cat is just doing a step-by-step -step method that I'm gonna show you today. To harness train cats, we use the desensitization and counter conditioning method. Desensitization means that we expose the cat to the harness in a very easy way. Counter conditioning means that we pair it with delicious food. I'm going to be using two types of treats to train Jones. Little pieces of chicken, just tiny pieces, and then a chiru tube. This is a lot less calories, so when I'm giving him lots of treats, I like to use one of these instead of, of pieces. But of course, when I'm talking or distracted, I like to put some treats in here to keep him busy. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to show your cat that the harness is a good thing. So we're just going to put some treats on the harness so that the cat first sees the harness and then eats some treats off it. The presentation is very important with training. We always want the cat to see the, the trigger or the thing that they're worried about first and then we show them that good things happen when it's around. So we present the harness first, and then we put some treats around it. To accomplish this step, you want to make sure that when your cat sees the harness, they're not running away or they're not nervous at all. Now we're going to desensitize the cat to the sounds of the harness. The Velcro can be a scary sound, so it's a good idea to make sure that they are not scared at this step. So all I'm going to do is just close it, open, and then feed. If he was scared, I could be further away from him. So there's always a distance that the cat can hear a sound and not be scared. So don't work this close if your cat is scared. Go in another room, open it, and then throw a treat at them. We're going to want to make sure the cat is comfortable being handled in the zones where the harness is going to rest. So we want to touch first, present the food, and then as soon as the touch stops, the food goes away. And we're going to do the same thing with the belly. Present the food, and then as soon as the touch stops, the food goes away. If you're training with all dry treats, just give your cat multiple tiny pieces in a row. Now we're going to do the exact same thing with the harness. We're going to touch your cat in the zone where the harness is going to rest. So we're going to get our food ready, present the harness, and then let him lick the food. So all I'm going to do is brush him with the harness, present the food. And then we stop. I'm going to do the same thing with his belly. Present the harness. Good. Mm -hmm. 
It's important to know that each step could take several days, so don't rush the training. So all I'm going to do, rest it on his back and then feed. As soon as I remove it, I'm going to take away the food. So let's do that again. We're going to rest it on his back and then feed. So now he's getting used to the heaviness, the weight of the harness in this step and that's one of the goals. Rest, close, feed. So now he's getting used to the sensation of the harness resting on his back and having it closed around his neck. Now we're gonna do the same thing under his belly. Now this can be a little bit trickier because if he's sitting, I can always draw him forward with the treat. And undo the belly. Again, we're gonna try that again. Rest, do the belly, feed. Good, fine. Let's see if we can get you to move forward. Thank you. Good boy. Let's try again. Let's try again. That. And. In this next step, we wanna get the cat moving a little bit. So I'm gonna to switch to some dry treats and just make a treat trail. Just getting him moving to get the treats. This is like our ping pong kitty game. We want the cat to get the treat and come back. If your cat likes toys, you can switch to playing with a toy. So you just wanna give your cat some practice wearing the harness, and walking around and moving, getting comfortable with it on. The snuffle mat can be great because you can get them to wear the harness while they're looking for their treats. What? Can we do your training with the harness on? You want to do fist bump? <laughs> Up until now, I haven't used any clicker training. For introducing the leash and encouraging your cat to start walking with you, a target stick can be a great tool because we can use the target stick to encourage the cat to move forward. Remember when I was saying that it's really important to layer safety measures? Well, I'm gonna add a tracking device. This is an essential piece of equipment for leash walking your cat. All right, Jones, do you wanna go for a walk now? 
Thanks for watching and have fun harness training your cat. You ready? Let's go.